All right, I think this is part four. Might be part five. I lost count. I'll figure it out when I get back to the house. So I'm just getting ready to test a couple of knives while I'm nice when I hatch it. Rifleman's Hawk by Cold Steel. Let's see how good this thing does. I have to find something a bit more bigger. Whoops. I'll take that back. We're going to start off with the buffer. Goodbye on that. So we'll start with the Becker BK9. This is the 9 inch version of this knife. Pan down a bit. We're going to cut this little bit of here, thingy here. It's already pretty well cast in bed. See how this thing cuts through it. Looking pretty good so far. Full frame. Pan down a bit just to make sure. Beautiful. Awesome. Real good chopper, actually. Chops pretty good. I would probably take down the tree twice that size if I really wanted to. Um, but I'm trying not to cut down anything live today. Um, that tree was on its way out. I had a little bit of foliage at the top, but it was more or less dead. I don't like impacting anything if I don't have to. So. Yeah, we'll uh, cut this down a little bit more over here. We'll move the camera a bit. Again, sorry. I don't have a camera crew. Wish I did sometimes. But I don't, so. All right. Don't be careful when you're out in the woods using a knife. You don't want to get hurt and cut yourself. Right. This thing actually, if I was going to get stuck in the woods, I want something like this with me. That's badass. Excuse my language. Apologize. All right. Stick this over here. Find something to use this on. Put that little sapling down over there. I don't know if it's a sapling or if it's a vine or whatever, but uh, it's the one right there. It's got two of them kind of twisted together there. Actually, no, that one's still alive, I think. So uh, we're gonna, like I said, I'd like to find something on the ground. We're gonna come over this way. I'm gonna carry the camera this way. Sorry about the shaking up because there's a down tree right over here. I'm going to set the camera here, set it up hopefully straight. My tripod will cooperate with me. There. And out of this pretty shot, dude. But I don't want to go cutting it down because it adds to the, to the ambiance, I guess you say. I don't know, that's crazy. Of the area here. So there is a down tree right there. Put the camera here and trapes over that way and zoom in on it. I'm going to bang on it a little bit, I think. Okay, we'll see. second cool I think I found a better tree How you doing? Oh. Oh, yeah. 
got a couple hikers out here. Oh, they're, <clears throat> they're out enjoying the day also. This is cool. There's nothing wrong with that. They're probably not doing what I'm doing, but as far as testing knives and whatnot out here. That's cool though. I like seeing people out like that. And it's not a real busy day today. But alright. I don't know. You know what? <laughs> now we're going to go back to the same spot, I guess. Sorry about that. I thought I had found a better tree to work on, but I guess not. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to do it again. Alright, tripods cooperate and we're good to go. Nice and stable. Oh, maybe not. Tripods leaning. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uneven ground. Try to set it that way. Come on, this tripod work for me. There we go. It'd be so much easier if I had a third hand so I could hold on to some of this stuff. But I don't. So, all right. I'm gonna go over here and chop on this one. How much time is left? Gotta keep track of that. We are at six minutes. Pretty rotten wood. But it, was, it chopped right through it as you saw. Kind of broke down a little bit further than what I would like it to. Yeah, this is uh, more testing coming with this. I'm gonna run out of daylight today because I gotta hike back out of here. So uh, look for uh, more review, testing, banging, whatever on this thing. Cold steel trailhawk. Real nice. It's got the nice handle on it and everything. Pretty cool. I can't think of the guy's name that term that suggested this. Um, but if he catches this video and sees this, thanks, man. I believe he's one of my subscribers. I apologize for not remembering your name. <laughs> but uh, thanks, man. Glad I picked it up. This should work pretty good. Look for it uh, more in my uh, videos as time goes on. Um, so, uh, yeah, that worked real well. I'm impressed with that. I'm going to move the camera back over here. Like I said, I, I have to hike out a couple miles to get back out of here. So. Uh, I'd like to stay out here tonight, but I can be able to. It's not, I got previous engagements or anything, it's just, actually I do, I've got family time. It's my, uh, mom, well, my stepdad's birthday tomorrow. Uh, it was actually a couple days ago, but we're celebrating it tomorrow. Oh, that was a good solid bite on that. We are at 20, this thing says 28, but I think it's warmer or colder than that. Let me see it on camera. It's 28 degrees, give or take a degree or two, because this is a, a cheap old piece of shit. Oh, sorry. Excuse my French. Piece of junk uh, thermostat, which I don't think works real well. So, pack this up real quick, otherwise I will forget it. First impressions with the, the Becker? Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I do some batoning with it, but there's really nothing out here to, to use it on. Um, a lanyard, I put a lanyard on it in case I decided to, to drop it and lose it somewhere. So uh, I'm going to have to cut this one short, too. I'm going to come back in another one, all right? I'll be back. We're at nine, almost ten minutes again. I'll be back.